Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel. I'm Sarah and today we are getting a full day session of tattoos and I'm awkwardly hiding my arm because I actually already got them I just forgot to film an intro so here is that. So excited about this one because I honestly have a new favorite tattoo and I am so excited to show you so keep watching here you go here is past me. Enjoy. Because I didn't really know what to wear because I don't really know where I'm gonna get the tattoos. I, I'm gonna wear this underneath all of my shirts and sweaters because it is still cold. <laughs> so that I can possibly get something around here. And I kind of want to get something here and I want to get this bad boy covered up. So we got those and then these pants, are you ready? Oh yeah, also just ignore these sweat patches. I accidentally I was washing something in the sink and then I splashed it on myself. So I was like, hey, oopsie. And I have wetness here because I had deodorant stains and I just quickly washed it. Anyway, look at these pants, right? And then if I'm like, oh, I want to get a tattoo like here, bam, I can pull them up like that. So this will be, <laughs> it looks weird, but I couldn't find my shorts and I'm running out of time. So we got these. I'm excited. And also just to cover my, well, that looks kind of bad. <laughs> I hope that tries. Just to cover my schnips, I'm gonna have my usual cakes. Use code Sai Sarah for 10% off. I love these, they're so good. Honestly, like no bra needed, just that. And then you just wash them, which is what I was washing when that happened. Anyway, let's eat, let's get ready, and then we can go. Being in bed. <laughs> the bruising's already started. <laughs> this one's gonna be real, real bruised as well. Sorry, I kind of just finished my tattoos, went home, had my noodles, and just became nonverbal for that moment. I could not. I am so tired. I feel so cool though. This arm is basically like full now. So excited to show you tomorrow. Probably not tomorrow, but the day after. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. See you tomorrow. Love you. Just a bit bruised. Just a bit bruised. <laughs> I'm not surprised, to be honest. I was expecting that bruising. Hello. It is two days after I got my tattoo and after I got my tattoos. I'm just gonna show you how they're healing up. Some of them are covered up with second skin, like this one. So you can't really see all of them. I'll give you a proper tattoo reveal and tour later. I just wanna show them to you as they heal because the bruising is wild. So this one, we got the barbed wire. Second skin is still on, healing up very well. Oof, this one, the second skin fell off or it came off. 
It's a bit bruised, just a tiny bit compared to the other ones. Are you ready for this? That's our bruising for today. Obviously because they're in the fleshy parts and the softer bits, they're gonna be bruised a bit more. But I am so in love. I can't believe this arm is like basically full now. I only have like, I only have like tiny spaces left. So yeah, what are we thinking? Who's been here for the whole journey of me getting my random tattoos on this arm? Obviously I still have lots and lots and lots of space. Like I have lots of space here for one, there. Obviously, as I go, I'll get more. There's a nice spot for another one. But it's like, it's basically now quite filled. Hee <laughs> hee. I love how it looks from the back. So cool. Okay, okay, cool. I'll show you my legs, even though they are still wrapped. Obviously, this one's in its second skin still. The ink is all nice and gooey, so that will hopefully stay on for the rest of the time. My personal favorite, probably. It's coming off a bit there, but I'm keeping it on. It is so cool. I love it. Anyway, I will keep you updated on the healing process. This is wild. This is the most bruised I think I've ever been. Because I guess you couldn't really see it when I was bruised on this one, because it's so, like... Thick. But this girl, it's wild. Five days later, so crispy, so crunchy. It is almost like a week later now and they're basically not really fully healed yet but I will show you anyway. So the way I chose all these flash pieces since I kind of like went in not knowing fully what I wanted, I just scrolled through his like Instagram like this and took screenshots of everything and kind of put them like a little folder and then I rearranged them in like an order of like which one I wanted the most to which one I wanted the least and in that way then I could just get them throughout the session. On days where I do like a full day session I don't really know what I get this is the best way that I do things because then it's just easier that I have it planned so I don't like panic and then regret what I get if that makes sense so for my anxious girlies and other humans that's a really good tip so let's look at all the tattoos I'm so in love as you've seen I'm like obsessed and have been going on about how excited I am about these as you can see this one's a little bit of a blast over you can kind of see the slight little line of the old tattoo which i don't mind i honestly just wanted to like blast over it with something because it was such a bad job that i did <laughs> on that butterfly tattoo as i've said previously in my tattoo tours and all of that it was not my best work but it's okay you live and you learn and sometimes you tattoo yourself and you're like <laughs> i know a lot of people always ask me about tattooing over scars Super chilled. Personally, for me, it doesn't hurt much more than not tattooing over scar tissue, so it was fine. And luckily, my artist was super nice about it, asked me for consent to post the photos, which is really lovely because it's always good to be asked that. I mean, I think it's so respectful when tattoo artists do do that, so. I don't know, I've gotten to the point where it's not awkward when I do want to get like my old scars tattooed over because it's happened quite a few times now, so I'm always very like, I would like a tear, please. But I do recommend if you are someone who doesn't have many tattoos or you're going to a new artist to always ask and make sure that they are comfortable tattooing over scars because I know it is harder to tattoo over scar tissue and you always want to make sure that your artist is comfortable doing that because you never know. Maybe their skill sets, some tattoo artists when they're starting out still are a bit reluctant to tattoo over scar tissue, but yes. Majority of the time, always have gotten a yes. All of these tattoos are on such painful spots. Like, 
I just went into the session being like, oh yeah, it'll be all fine. I won't be in much pain or more pain than I usually am. And I was so wrong about that. All of them, yeah, literally all of them were on quite painful spots. I, I think the barbed wire was the easiest one in this session. I'd say the tattoo on my thigh would normally be an easier one to get tattooed, but because of all the pain that I endured during that session, I was so tired and my pain threshold was just so low and all my adrenaline had just gone away. So it was painful. So yeah. And that was also the last one. So my body had almost tapped out by then. I was so close to tapping out after the flower one on my leg. Oh, it hurt so bad, but so worth it. I'm so happy. Like a total eight out of 10 pain for the whole session, I would say maybe a seven out of 10. But like, you know, when you're doing it, it's an so much more painful but then after it you're like that was fine I, I don't even know I was complaining so I hope you enjoyed this little video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I post so you don't miss a video thank you so much for watching bye